And I know there's rumor and innuendo out there and Arn, I don't think me and you've ever talked about this, but when Paul Roma became a horseman, supposedly they were in negotiations with you, Tully. Is that the way that actually happened? Or is that just dirt sheet stuff that became? No, 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 no. They were what only I think was the booker at the time. Mm -hmm. And I said, I don't know. I think they contacted me. And I said, okay, I, I don't know if it was a money thing or not, but there was not a, really a job offer, but they kept insinuating that I would be there on TV. I sent a registered letter to their office to let them know that I wouldn't be there because they hadn't negotiated any money or anything like that. And, and I, I literally sent that and then it's the only pay-per-view that I've ever bought. I bought that to see how they would explain me not showing up. And uh, it was probably as big a flop of anything because the fans were expecting me to come out. Yeah. And Paul Roma came out, and it really wasn't fair to him. No. But the the audience didn't like it at all i don't think arn what do you remember about that no uh, i was excited that i had heard he was coming back you know uh i never asked what anybody makes right it's none of my business uh all i'm concerned with is what i make yeah and uh, i just heard there was a stall no one was specific I know that it had already been put out there and uh, that Tully was coming back. And there's, let's just face it, you know, nobody was in second place. You could have brought Hulk Hogan out there and put him in that spot. It would not have been received like it would have been with Tully. Right. And it, and it wasn't fair to Paul. He was put in a ridiculous situation. Uh, and it just started to go downhill. Every concoction, every you know, every version of the horseman from that day forward just started to get used less and less and devalued. And it was just a placeholder on the card. And it was basically the only thing that was over anymore was the name. That was it. That and this, you know, the group was not over. We weren't used in a capacity that we could get over uh, because we were just, you know, midway to, to first match after intermission. And uh, when you get uh, bumped down the, the ladder, I guess you could just say the fans know it and they see it. And now you're a middle guy. You're not a top guy anymore. And uh, that's basically what happened. Well, we're all top guys for getting to listen to this today. It's so cool to catch up with you guys and, uh, just listen to you talk about your shared experiences. Kelly, any final words before we wrap this up, man? I just want to tell you as a fan, I still absolutely love seeing you on Wednesdays. I know most of the time when you come back through the curtain, you've got a really excited text message for me saying that's the best promo of the year. Every time uh, you're hitting home <laughs> runs out there, man. And we, well, we I appreciate it too. Well, it's, it's good uh, stuff, man. It's so great to see you back. Well, thank you. And it's a thrill to be back. It really is. And uh, I hope the, the new wrestling fans uh, can get a, a little bit of a taste of what it used to be like.